So hello everyone and this is going to be a simple guide on how we can install AMD FSR 3.1.4 frame generation using the OptiScaler mode. And in case you don't know that AMD just released a new version of FSR 3 which is FSR 3.1.4 and this one improves the image quality and the frame generation. So it's the best FSR 3 version yet and we are going to use the OptiScaler mode in this video. And if you don't know what is OptiScaler mode, it's a free open source mode that works on on every GPU and it's currently the most compatible and the best frame generation mode you can get and it works on almost every new game being released and this guide is going to be a universal guide it means this guide will work for many other games as well I'm just taking RDA2 as an example in this video you can try this on many other games the basic requirements to run this mode is that the game should be running on DirectX 12 and the game should have at least any one kind of upscaler already in the graphic settings if it's running on dx12 and has any upscaler this mode will work and you can use the fsr 3.1.4 with frame generation on every gpu so without wasting any further time let's dive into it so first of all we have to download the mode i will leave the official ad free download link down below the description box of this video so you can directly download from there i will also leave the official github page of this mode so you can check and stay up to date with the latest versions but the version which i'm going to provide today is not yet available on the github i got this beta version from the discord server of this mode so you can simply download from the description box of this video and once it downloaded it will be in a zip format like this fsr 3.1.4 fg scalar pre12.far simply right click and you have to extract it use winrar or 7zip to extract the file and once it's extract extracted we will got our mode files these all our mode files and we have to copy all and paste inside the main game folder so simply open the main folder of a game wherever your game is installed and paste all of the files there so now inside the main folder of the game, if you don't know that what is the main game folder, so wherever the exe of your game is located, that is the main game folder and you have to paste the mode files there. In some games like Unreal Engine games, the main exe is inside the binaries win64 folder. So paste there and always paste inside the exe folder of the game. So simply click and paste. If it asks to replace, replace the files and now the mode has been pasted so now we have to install simply you will see the optiscaler setup.bat simply open this bat file and now here are many options on our screen eight options but i will select the first option which is dxgil.dll and the first one works the best in most of the cases and if it don't work you can always choose different version from here but always go with the first one because first one works the best and by default so press one and hit enter and then here this is very important step make sure to select which gpu you have if you have amd or intel gpu select one and if you have nvidia gpu select two and this is a really important step otherwise the mode is not going to work so select accordingly i have nvidia so i will click two and then click enter and the OptiScaler has been installed successfully and that's all our mode has been installed now and we can now simply launch the game and see how to activate our frame generation inside the game so now we have to activate the mode inside the game so simply go inside the graphic settings of the game which you are trying this on and find the upscaler settings of that game so simply scroll down until you see the upscaler settings and here you can see the nvidia dlss it's now enabled and set it to quality mode you can either select nvidia dlss or fsr and set them to quality you can select any one of them fsr or dlss and make sure they are enabled and set it on quality mode and now back from here so now we have to press the insert key to bring the menu of the mode to enable them so you have to press the insert key on your keyboard and if you are on laptop press the fn plus insert key and in case that your keyboard don't have this insert key you can use the on screen virtual keyboard to press the insert key so simply press the insert key or fn plus insert and once you press this you will see this mode menu and here we have to activate our frame generation but first of all here you will see the frame generation settings it's set it on no frame generation click here and select opti fg select this option and now it will say save inr and restart the game so simply down below click on save INI, ini and now you have to restart your game once more in order to activate the frame generation so simply restart your game so after restarting the game we have to bring that mode menu once again so simply press the insert key and now you can see all the frame generation options are now available to select from 
but first of all on the top click on DLSS and change this to FSR3.x and click apply and now the FSR 3.1.4 has been enabled you can see on the top it's saying DirectX 12 FSR 3.1.4 and also you can see the FPS it's already boosted from 30 to 40 but now simply click on FG activate it will enable the frame generation and now click here and now the frame rates has been boosted and also make sure to click on FG HUD fix it will basically eliminate those weird glitches you will see around the screen and on the text so make sure to select this option and also click on FG allow async it will give a little bit more FPS a bit more FPS compared to frame generation and now that's all that's all simply press the insert key to close this menu and here we go it's completely smooth and flat with no glitches on screen at all and we are having more than double amount of FPS we were having previously before enabling the mode and you can see it's working pretty fine and yeah so that's all and now i will show that if the mode does not work in your game so how you can uninstall the mode and how you can get some common fixes in case of any error so now let's say that the mode did not work in your game it crashed or any other reason and you want to delete the mode completely from your game so simply open the same main folder again where you previously pasted and installed the mode open the same folder and you will find this file called remove optiscalator bat simply open this and click y and this will automatically uninstall the mode completely from the game and optiscalator removed and press any key to continue and that's all the mode has been removed so if you faced any error in your game you can uninstall by this method and now let's talk about some general fixes and some general issues you might came across on this mode so don't use any applications like msi afterburner reverse tuner or discord while playing and using this mode because any of these applications which deals with overlays can make the game crash and can cause some issues so always avoid these applications while playing the game with this mode and always keep your gpu and windows up to date keep your gpu drivers up to date this is recommended by the author of this mode as well and will always help you to avoid some of the general errors and in my opinion that's all i try to keep the tutorial as simple and straightforward as possible i hope this was helpful and if for it was subscribe to the channel and like the video thanks for watching and bye